today we are going to discuss about seed storage proteins and in this class we will talk about storage proteins of the endosperm and the embryo seed storage proteins are proteins that accumulate in seeds during the late stages of development the purpose of seed storage protein is to maintain seeds in a viable state so that they can germinate and uh, produce healthy vigorous plants seed storage proteins accumulate during seed development within membrane bound organelles called protein bodies and uh, serve as a reservoir of amino acids and also of reduced nitrogen carbon and sulfur required uh, for germinating seedlings seed storage proteins accumulate mainly in the embryo and cotyledons of dicot and uh, the endosperm of monocot globulins are the most common storage proteins present in dicots monocots and fern spores in developing dicot seeds the most abundantly expressed storage proteins are mm, the members of 2s albumin and uh, the 7s and 11s globulin protein families globulins predominate in dicotyledonous seeds whereas prolamine are the major storage proteins in the most uh, cereals globulins are located in the embryo and the outer alveolar layer of the endosperm and are commonly uh, divided according to their different segmentation coefficient that is 7s and 11s other storage proteins include albumins then prolamines oleosins late embryogenesis abundant proteins lea albumins uh, are the proteins which are soluble in salt solution prolamines also known as zein and uh, they are the main storage proteins in maize seeds accounting for about 60% of the total storage proteins oleosins are small hydrophobic proteins and are associated with the oil bodies then lea these proteins are highly hydrophilic and are uh, thought to play a role in desiccation tolerance precursors of these uh, storage protein classes are synthesized at the endoplasmic reticulum and the mature polypeptides of all these uh, protein classes accumulate inside the specialized vacuoles and uh, bodies called protein storage vacuoles and protein bodies next is classification of proteins first is based on their solubility on the basis of their solubility seed storage proteins are of four types 2s albumin globulin prolamines and glutilins 2s albumins are water soluble proteins and examples of 2s proteins are napin conglutin sunflower sfa8 castrobene albumin then globulin globulin are dilute salt uh, soluble proteins and examples of globulin are 11s globulin and 7s globulin next is prolamines prolamines are alcohol and water mixture soluble proteins and examples of prolamines are glycin s rich c hordin h m w subunit avidin zine rice s rich prolamine etc and fourth type is glutilins glutilins are dilute acid or alkali soluble proteins first of all 2s albumin storage proteins 2s albumin are small proteins that are highly stable to uh, thermal treatment they can be allergens because of their uh, hypervariable reasons and can cause allergic reactions even when ingested orally two s albumin storage proteins are becoming of uh, uh, increasing interest in nutritional and clinical studies as they have been reported as major food allergens in seeds of many mono and dicotyledonous plants 2s albumins were initially defined as a group on the basis of their sedimentation coefficient they are widely distributed in dicot seeds and uh, have been most widely studied in the cruciferi family uh, notably oil seed rape in which they are called napins and also in arabidopsis in recent years 
some members of this protein family have been described as major food allergens and demonstrating their ability to bind IgE from allergic patient serum. So, allergenic proteins from yellow uh, and oriental mustard, yellow means synapsis alba is SINA1, and uh, from oriental mustard, that is Brassica gentia, BRAJ1. From Brazil nut, BERE1, castor bean, ricinus communis, RICC1, or white sesame seeds, that is sesame indic uh, indicum, SES. Uh, I1 have been classified as 2S albumins. So these are the different uh, uh, types of 2S albumins, main structure of 2S albumins. Uh, first is snapping, then congluten, uh, sunflower SFA8, this one castor bean albumin and sunflower uh, albumin, etc. So you can see here three conserved reasons, these A, B and C, red color. These conserved reasons are present in all. And uh, these three reasons also show homology with each other and uh, uh, contain cysteine residue and, uh, that may be, may be conserved within or between the different groups of the protein. Next is globulin. Globulin, globulin are widely distributed group of storage proteins that are found in monocots, dicots, and fern spores. They are classified uh, based on their sedimentation coefficient and they are nutritionally significant. Globulins are nutritionally significant because they are deficient in cysteine and methionine amino acids. So, some examples of globulins uh, seed storage proteins are 11S globulin, 7S globulins, cruciferin. Then napping 11S globulins, also known as legumins, and these proteins are found in most dicot legumes species. They are the major storage protein in rice and oats, making up uh, about 70 to 80 percent of the total protein in these uh, grains, means in oat and rice. Then 7S globulins. 7S globulins are also known as vicillins, and these proteins are made up of three subunits that are typically uh, about 50k uh, 50 kd you can see here the structure of 11s globulin and 11 uh, 7s globulin so this is 11s globulin and 7s uh, globulin then cruciferin this is the name for 12s globulin proteins in rhabdopsis then napin these are the names for 2s albumin in rhabdopsis now listen Usually, these are removed by milling in wheat, then polishing in the case of rice, pearling in the case of barley, or uh, decortication in sorghum before human consumption. Next is proleamines. Major, uh, these proleamines are major endosperm storage proteins of all cereal grains except rice and oat. They are generally rich in uh, proline and uh, amide nitrogen derived uh, nitrogen derived from glutamine. They are soluble in a coal and water mixture. They uh, are much more variable in structure than 7 and uh, 7s and 11s globulins. They are present in wheat, barley, rye, maize, sorghum and millets. Presence of amino acid sequence in prole mines consisting of repeated blocks based on one or more short peptide motifs, uh, for example, methionine, glycine, uh, histidine, etc. So, this is structure of prole mine. You can see here also uh, the three conserved reasons A, B, and C. And uh, uh, these three conserved reasons are present in all except C. hordens. Here, C. hoden, all uh, other proteins, seed storage proteins, that is prolmine, having these three conserved reasons.
and uh, as i already told you these three regions also show homology with each other and uh, contain cysteine residue that may be conserved within or between the different groups of the protein next is gluten gluten is a protein found in the endosperm of seeds from grass plants such as wheat barley rye it is a major component of gluten along with glycine Glu uh, glutelins are characterized by uh, their uh, solubility on the basis of their uh, amino acid uh, present in glutelins polypeptide subunits then storage proteins glutelins are highly insoluble in water but soluble in dilute acids or uh, uh, alkaline glutens are rich in hydrophobic amino acids like phenyl alanine valine proline tyrosine and leucine etc glutens are classified into two major polypeptide subunit that is alpha subunit and beta subunit they are the most abundant storage protein in rice making up to 70 to 80% of the total seed storage proteins in these uh, grains now glutens are initially synthesized as pre uh, proglutens which are about um, uh, 57 kg they are then classified into four groups based on their amino acid sequence they are glu glutens a glutens b c and glutens g in wheat proline glycine and glutelin uh, from the major gluten components glutenin imparts baking quality to wheat next is storage of seed storage protein means where the seed storage proteins are stored in the seed seed storage proteins are specifically synthesized during seed maturation and they accumulate in the endosperm of monocots or in the cotyledons and embryo of dicots storage proteins in the embryo of the plant are primarily found in protein storage uh, vacuoles and protein bodies protein storage vacuoles are the vacuoles that contain uh, these storage proteins and are found in uh, the terminally differentiated cells of the embryo and protein bodies are assembled directly within the endoplasmic reticulum so storage proteins are synthesized on the endoplasmic reticulum and then deposited in these vacuoles or bodies they are uh, a reservoir of amino acids for the plant to use later in its development then decomposition of uh, seed storage proteins seed storage proteins provide material for new uh, protein synthesis and uh, also uh, nitrogen source and sulfur source during germination of seed so seed storage proteins are broken down into soluble peptides by endopeptidase enzyme and subsequently these uh, peptides are decomposed into amino acids by exopeptidase amino acids produced from decomposition of uh, seed storage proteins are used as a source of uh, for new protein synthesis during germination and uh, subsequent seedling growth thank you